Andy. Andy, put it that way. What Andy? way? <laughs> Wait. Andy, what are you doing, Andy? Which way? More like towards that? you all. Yeah, well, you come over here, Andy. Not even in the picture. I think we should have set you up on uh, the internet. <laughs> you think this will go? The Wi-Fi? Yeah. Hi, should we have done that before we went live? What? I don't know. We'll find out. Where Where are are people see us? They can't see you. Right, nobody's on live. Bit of you. Nobody's on live. <sighs> Nobody's alive. Over a little bit. You need some room? <laughs> no, I'll Wait. jump in there. This is the family. Hi, everybody. Nobody's here yet. Hey. <laughs> so Hi. we're here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh. So let's talk we? about uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Oh, we got somebody. Okay. Hey. Oh, so hello. 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 <laughs> well. All right, everybody, welcome. I'm Andy P, and I'm here with Curly G, the youngest grandson of Curly Howard of Three Stooges. And Curly G, who are we here with? Sandy Shim. Sandy what? Shim. <laughs> Sandy Shim. That's awesome. This is Sandy Howard, Sandy Shemp's Shemp. granddaughter. Yeah. And I'm Chandler. Oh, you guys all know Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch our channel, you know Chandler. All right. This right? Yep. Shem's great granddaughter. And, and we actually got invited this time. We didn't have to bust into her and place. And we're here on Mother's Day. Slightly invited. We're here on Mother's Day. And Mother's in town. Mom's in town. Oh, and so cute. she wanted to go live for you. Uh, I did. First, before we start off, you guys have your own little Facebook group about all the girls. So tell everybody. You say it, Mom. Well, it is called Shemp <laughs> Howard. Shem <laughs> Howard. Oh, get it together. The Goyles Group. Um, the Shemp Howard Goyles. The Shemp Howard Goyles. We are we are out there, and we have a lot of Goyles that are on that, are on there. Um, so it's basically uh, so it's four of you. It's not just this is the half of the Shemp Howard Goyles, yes, it right? Is. Who are the other two Goyles? Well, your sister Jill, Jill, Jill Howard. I'm sure you all have met her, and our wonderful mother Jerry, Jerry Howard Greenbaum. <laughs> so. She, she's very much a part of it, and we all get, get on. We answer any kind of questions you want to you want to throw at us, and we do the best we can. So, uh, Jerry, your your mother was married to Mort Shem's son. Correct, Morton. Morton didn't have a middle name, by the way, just so you know. Oh, hmm. I, I did not know Mort. that. Okay, just why didn't they give him a middle name? I don't know. Do we not know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because just his really first name was so wonderful, you don't need a middle name. <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah. I guess that's it. So, uh, Mort was Shem's only child. The only one, yes. I not know. spoiled. No, not spoiled. No, no. And he uh, he worked a little bit behind the scenes in the earlier days while he was uh, in high school and in college. He wrote a few scripts. Um, but for some reason, the gasoline business pulled him away. He opened up, uh, started the first self-serve gas station in California. Wow, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. So, of course, everybody would want to know if you knew your grandfather, Shem. I did not know my grandfather, Shem. I was born 11 months after he had passed away. and uh, But I did know Mo, and I did know Larry. So tell us about knowing Mo and Larry. You know, um, Uncle Mo. It's Uncle, Uncle Mo to you. Mo was always asked me, as if I was a fan, would you like my autograph? All the time. <laughs> no way. He always said, and he always had autograph. He always had something with him, like pre already signed, and he would give it to uh, Jill and I all the time. His autographs, and he had. Wait, where are they? Oh yeah. Uh, home somewhere. You do have them. Home somewhere. <laughs> you got any extras or any prints? Home somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, those were really fond memories. Um, he had a white bowl, uh, well, bowl, the bowl haircut, white, as white could be, wore pretty thick glasses at that time. I knew him when he was older. So it was 60s, 70s. early, late 60s, early mm, 70s? Yeah, I'm going to say more in the 70s. Were they still, were they still doing stuff at the time? Were they still shooting? I... Because Mo kept going right up until he was about... I think he went, I don't know when he passed. 70, 74? 30. 74, I think him and Larry both passed the same 75, year. I think, Mo. Was May? Maybe May 75? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry, I'm guys. so sorry. I, Come on, these fans would know. Where's all the comments? They all know. <laughs> we're not getting any comments. Wait a minute. What's happening? That's weird. I don't no, think we're live. Oh, What's no. that? I'm just kidding. 
Hey, come on, you guys. Wait a minute. Where do we all get no, to see this? A, hey, if anybody's writing, we can't see any of it. Ready? No, I didn't do it. So um, those were the funny things, as Mo always said, you know I'm your Uncle Mo, like as if I wouldn't know who it was, you know? And would you like my autograph? <laughs> yes, I'll take another, <laughs> and another, and another. So uh, that was a fond memory. Larry was sweet as pie. He was kind of the opposite in person. He was shy very soft-spoken, sweet, kind. Um, I only knew him when he was living in the motion picture home. And uh, I'd sit on his lap. I know that sounds weird, but I was a child. I was very small. <laughs> He'd say, would you, like to come, would you like to come sit on my lap? And I'd say, sure, sure I would. And uh, he would draw pictures. He would draw, and I don't, don't ask me where those are. I don't, I don't remember where the pictures went, but he would draw me pictures of himself with the, with the hair. Um, Wait, Larry would draw you pictures? He would draw me pictures. Mm -hmm. Of himself? Of himself. I don't know don't where they are. Wait, we can't ask where they are. Yes. Yes. Everybody they wants are. to know. I was, like, I was like eight years old. So um, he was a marvelous man, but very soft-spoken. You know, not, not on. And Mo wasn't quite on, but just wanted to really make sure we all knew who he was, like as if we didn't know who he was. So there you go. I've, evidently, I am exactly like my grandfather. I look like my grandfather. Um, I have different facial expressions, which I don't know if you're going to get to see him or not. <laughs> yeah, let's Wait, see him. come no, on. No, 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 I already did that one expression. Oh, no, I did that one expression in the opening. Oh. It's something that you do with your mouth. Can everybody make their mouth crooked? I can't do no. it like you do. How about, can you slap me at least? <laughs> I mean, no, the fans want to see. That. I don't know how to do that. Oh, no, give it no, to him. No, no, no give on. it to him. I'm him. not going to really. He signed a waiver. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. You got to his cheek. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't do it. Jenna, what I love <laughs> is pies. It was wonderful. I have been in a pie contest. At the only stooge like convention that was here in Burbank like a million years ago. And I did a whole spread with a bunch of people and we threw pies and that was an experience of a lifetime. I mean, it hurts. It really hurts. It's very rewarding ever... though. It is so rewarding. I... Oh, I went up to somebody and I creamed them. I creamed them. It was so wonderful. Good. I loved it. This is very disheartening that we can't see. I know the fans want to be writing, and I don't think I'm, I'm on Are the other page. There? I'm, I, it, it looks like nothing. Like, I can't comment, so I don't know what we did I wrong. I don't know what Andy did wrong. I, He's the sorry. producer, the <laughs> great, the writer. This is happening. It's, oh, yeah, no, we're watching okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's definitely happened. It's just like, okay. I know people out there want to ask questions, and for some reason oh, we can't. Can you come on, guys? Phone? Hey, look. No, I can't see We anything. look like that. Like that. <laughs> look. We're oh. so meta. Oh. <laughs> so now you guys, you guys didn't know each other. We did not know. So you're related. Anything. So for people who don't know, Shemp and Curly were brothers, and Mo were we're all brothers. And yes. so your grandfather Curly and your grandfather Shemp, and you, they grew up we're very close, actually, uh, distance wise. But you didn't know each other. Not at all. Not until about eight. five years, eight years ago. At a so very at a strange, stage. isn't it? Gathering, they were introducing him, and Jill and I were sitting next to each other, and uh, they introduced you, and we looked at each other, and we said, "Who is he? <laughs> we have a cousin. We have a cousin we don't know about. We got to figure out, find out who he is." You know, and I don't know why. We still don't know why. <laughs> but we're going to get to the bottom of it, right? It's got to be something why. really deep and dark. Yeah. It, I it's think a it lifetime is. movie. I think it is. We'll get to the we'll bottom, get to the of, bottom it. of it. I mean, I... Mm. The important thing is we're together now. I know. I can't believe and then, it. And then this little daughter. chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring her in. Uh, did you grow up on the Stooges? More yeah. or less, yes. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think of your heritage? Um, I appreciate it more now than I did when I was a kid. I grew up in Lake Tahoe, California, where 
nobody was in show business and nobody knew Anything my age Hollywood. who they were. Um, so I didn't tell many kids when I was younger, but now, especially living in LA, it's like very fun facty. Um, <laughs> so I enjoy it now as a thing to be able to call myself part of and be proud of. So. Yeah, so how do people react when you tell them you're... Well, usually you tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I tell everybody. Everywhere we go, <laughs> you know, we are eating, we're buying a pack of gum, mm -hmm. we're pumping gas. People do that to me too. Go up <laughs> they to say, them. Do you know what? Hey, do you like the Three Stooges? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. Do you like the Three Stooges? Do you like the Three Stooges? <laughs> and nine times out of ten, they say yes. So yes. right there, you're yeah. in, right? Yeah. And then the then the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we we just we were just at a party and we were talking to some showrunner of a big show. And I happened to ask him if you like the Three Stooges. He was like, oh my God, yes. Me and my dad, we watched that and the Honeymooners, but the Three Stooges were the number one. Night. And I told him who you were and he was so starstruck. Oh, like I, it was so strange. I know. Right? It's like lovely. huge Shemp yeah. fan. It's Darren. lovely. Yeah. When fans do come up and they will ask us for our autographs. Right. Which is crazy. And I'm thinking, what? You know? <laughs> okay. And they, they, they are giving you their pen and their paper and you see their hands shaking, shaking and I'm like, it's okay. Yeah, we hug them. It's just okay. So they, they know. Yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 we're more nervous home. than they are. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm like, like, okay. Yeah. It's so, yeah. so awesome. Anyway. We're so blessed. So. so do you have a favorite Shemp episode? Short? Oh. Oh my gosh. Because they're all you like them um, all. I love them all. <laughs> uh, they're all great. What's the one? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know like a fan knows. I don't know all the lines. I don't know the titles. I was just ironing the other day, and I made a post on Facebook saying, who else loves ironing? And then I made a reference to, and maybe you all know who it is, which one it is, where Shemp is ironing and then the ironing board goes up <laughs> yeah. and then it comes back down and he's got, and, and then and then it just swallows up and throws them on the ground. I, I crack up. I'm sure the fans, it. they would, I it, crack what would happen? Up. What is that one? You could read. Yeah, so I think about that all the time. And when I grew up in Shemp's home, um, we had an ironing board just like that. And Jill and I used to play thinking that that board was going to go back and forth and obviously it never did. But, um, uh, what is that? What is that particular short? Come on. Is that your favorite? That is my favorite. It's a great I one. love it. I, I think he's hilarious. I think they're all, they, they do laundry. I don't know. And then Shemp <laughs> gets stuck on the chandelier and goes around in a circle. I don't know. I'm sorry. Like you, I'm no. Oh, so Review now, okay, so sing a song of six paint. All right, so now the one? I got uh, I got on my phone, I got a lot of comments oh, here. Of comments. Michael Janus sent this 99 cents, dollar. Ooh. Michael Janus, oh, thank, thank you for you. the that super thanks. Uh, oh my God, you have so many comments here. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, um, yeah. oh. Sorry, I showed up late, what did I miss? Yeah. 75, 1975 is when he died. Mm -hmm. That was Jamie sent us that, thank you. Um, hearing about Larry is just melting my heart. Oh, it was oh, so funny. endearing. So how, how, how often did you see him? A couple times mm, throughout a month. It really depends. If you all remember Grandma Babe, Babe Howard. Um, Shemp's wife. Shemp's wife. Yeah. You know, I refer to my grandfather, Papa Shemp. You all refer to, a lot of you refer to him as Papa Shemp. Um, we're all family. You know, we're all family. Uh, we'd go oh, often to go see him in the motion picture home, but I was young, so I wasn't paying much attention yeah. to that. Did you know the Stooges at the time? Did I know about them? Yeah, like, did you watch were, them? Were you fans? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Channel 52. Does anyone remember? It would come in kind of blurry. UHF? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? It was a I'm funny channel. We're giving away our age right oh, now. Oh, like, God. Well, I'm older than you. No, I don't think so. Okay. Anyway. Chris says, tell Shem's great granddaughter Chandler I DM'd her Shem's caricatures on your Instagram. Oh. So you gotta check out um, Instagram. Oh, we've seen Chris, we've seen some of your artwork. It's it's great. Thank Excellent. you for sending. We'll go we'll we'll be posting it and tagging you in it. Um, Oliver Hardy's name was Babe too, and so was Curly's nickname, wasn't it? That's right. I don't know why it was such a popular name. Uh, I don't know. They all look like little babes. 
I, I have one kind of fun fact about Grandma Babe that my mother just told me. You guys might know something. And she, there was a whole program on a and &E about five months ago, four months ago. And my mother said, she was Grandma Babe's best friend. Her name was Polly Adler. And Polly Adler was a very famous madam of the 30s and 40s. And Shemp couldn't stand that my grandma. He tried everything to pull her, his wife, away from the madam. <laughs> and she was the madam of the stars, but she just thought she was the like the greatest thing since apple pie. She, lo she loved po Polly Adler. So if anyone looks up Polly, Polly Adler uh, or looks up on Annie, um, it's quite fascinating. And I can completely see her being in cahoots, not, not at the madam part of it, but <laughs> as friends. So Now you grew up in Shem's house. I did. I grew up in Shem's house in Toluca Lake. Right now I'm about four minutes away, maybe five <laughs> minutes away. Yeah. And uh, Jill and I, I'm sorry Jill isn't here to see and be involved in this today, but we would always have the big uh, buses come by, the tour buses to, of the stars, I guess, and they would stop in front of our house. And for some reason, we thought that was our time that we were on, <laughs> and we'd do the cartwheels, and I got out the baton, and... You know, we, we, we would do a whole show for them outside. Now, Jill met Uncle Shem, or Grandpa Shem. Yes, she did. She's got a great story. Do you, can you tell the story? I... Do you know about the carrots? We'll get her. I, I don't think I'd get it right. Okay. I'm sorry. That will have to be another time, or in person. So I had the privilege of going to your house once and looking at a very small fraction of some of your Shemp memorabilia. Yeah. <laughs> very small fraction. I mean, you have a, I mean, Brad, see, Brad's got like nothing from his family, you know, and, and Mo's children that seem to have. I got something. Mo's daughter had everything, right? <laughs> but you, you had a nice, uh, you have a nice um, memorabilia and, and personal of, stuff. Of my grandfather's. Yeah. He, a lot of you have bought over the years memorabilia and the ones that do buy all know that I used to only sell like once every five years because I don't want everything to not have value. So um, I'm not, I haven't sold in a very long time, but he did have his own scrapbooks that he would put together himself. And uh, so those scrapbooks, <laughs> what's left of them, because I have pulled things out of it, um, is what I've got. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's your legacy. I know. We went through it all for the first time, like, a year ago, in the middle of COVID when there was nothing else to do. Let's dig up all the memorabilia. And I think that was the first time I've seen all of it. And hearing all the stories, and especially you as, like, such the buff could tell us what everything was, which was neat. Um, yeah, I discovered an autograph of Molari and Shem that you have. I know. Yes. I don't know where <laughs> I was very excited. And we found I, some scripts, I, I, and your father yeah. actually wrote a, wrote like you said, wrote, wrote a script. Mm -hmm. um, he wrote a few. Uh, Shemp wanted him, to, my father, to stay in the movie industry, but it just wasn't my dad's calling. You know, he, my father uh, graduated high school at 15 and a half, and he went off to UCLA. He was a brilliant man, and he wanted to do other things in life. And so that was, it wasn't his calling. But he was funnier than that. And he didn't want grandma to be in show business either. No, my mother had opportunities. My Jerry had opportunities, and he said, nope, do not want you <laughs> in the movie industry. <laughs> nope, nope, you're gonna be mother, mother to our children. We're still trying to get her into the movie industry. Yeah. I just painted a portrait of her that was used in a Lifetime movie. Do you want me to go she get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> she was not happy with it. <laughs> she saw it today and was really angry at me. <laughs> Should I get it? I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. The, Keep talking. It it's on the ground in the closet now. So, yeah. My, we showed it to my mother today. And I <laughs> she did didn't know what to expect. <laughs> well, I was here at Chandler's. I've been here for a few days. And... We were in her office, and this happened to be in her office, and I kept looking at the picture, 
And then I finally said, why does that picture look like grandma? And oh. my mother would be here. Yeah, my mother would be here. Ah, it's scary. But oh, there's, there's parts of it that just look like her, the hair. <laughs> So there we actually, go. That's that is pretty good. But see, it's supposed to be a, a regal woman. It's like I wasn't doing a portrait of her for her. It's just I used her as the model <laughs> for this Lifetime movie. Right. And we, it's in it. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> she saw it. Her eyes movie. just went. This was not the Mother's Day present she was hoping for. <laughs> no. No. She's very angry. Is that no. why she gave it back? Uh, by the way, Balzer seventy seven just sent uh, a super thanks. Oh, Thank you oh. so much. Uh, we appreciate so nice. any of the support. I mean, just liking and commenting and yes. hitting the little bells. We, we want to bring as much speed stuff. Well, okay. Come on, they don't want to see me. They want to no, see the family. See Today, we, we are, are family. We are. <laughs> We're one big happy family. We're here for you. It's a little uh, flat. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I'm a huge Stooges and Abbott and Costello fan. Uh, I heard Costello and Shemp are good friends, much to Moe's chagrin. I don't know if Mo minded or not. Um, I could I could feel this one because okay. I asked your uh, your mother about okay. this. We interviewed we interviewed Jerry. Sure. That's yes. what that picture was from. Yeah, it was it's from still the, it's from, still the from that. <laughs> we interviewed her, and that's coming too. We got a lot oh, of yeah. really good like firsthand stuff Never about Shem coming up. And she said uh, Lou Costello would come over to the house all the time. Mm -hmm. But Abbott and Lou Costello, both of them, they would come over and they would hang out and they would play the piano. Or, who played the piano? Oh, they all played the piano. They all took turns. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, she didn't mention that. She mm -hmm. had a big piano. Yeah. Did Shem play? We all played. Really? Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. who plays it. I just me. recently sold the, <laughs> the piano. You sold Shem's piano? I don't know why. <laughs> it literally was falling apart. It was falling apart. I had to glue it together. So's our careers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So's our lives. Thanks for the 10 bucks and we're going to need that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yes, she said Abbott and Costello would come over all the time, and it, the whole thing about Mo um, being upset that Costello would take his bits was not really true. Uh, you know that. Uh, that oh, no. did you know something else? No, no, oh, no. Wait a minute. I, 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 there was a few things with W. C. Fields and Shemp. Wait, what? I don't know this story. Mm, we're on live. Go ahead, let's go. Everybody hears <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah. Oh my wait, god. What, what? Okay, if. Uh, this is just rumor, rumor through rumor. I got my, I really need to go get under the table. <laughs> go ahead. This is rumor. great rumor. 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 Everybody wants to hear this. Rumor. Okay. Uh, that, that W.C. Fields felt very insecure. He would think Shemp was taking his part away because they did one movie together. The Bank Dick. The Bank Dick. Oh, he no was kidding. not happy. He was not happy about W.C. Fields was not happy that really? Shemp was in the mood because he felt, this is what my grandma told me. I have nothing, I wasn't there, uh, that that he was taking the bits. Oh. He felt that Shemp was stealing the show. That he, was did? The exact. he did? And W.C. Fields, I'm a huge fan. Oh, Shemp did steal I, the show in that. He was I, fantastic. You know, He's so funny as the bartender. My grandfather would never do that. He was the salt of the earth as well. No, no, no. It, he, I don't think Shemp could help it. I think Shemp just came on and he just, when you see him in Buck Privates or mm -hmm. Buck Privates Come Home or with mm -hmm. Abbott and Costello, he mm -hmm. steals the show. Mm -hmm. He's really, he's that character actor that just like you're glued to him. And even as a kid, before I even saw him as one of the stooges, I was like, who is that guy? You know, he was that character actor that you just, he had something. Oh, well. I gave you that movie to thank Dick to watch. You gotta watch it. <laughs> she hasn't watched it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, and I know all the movies, once I see them, I'm just sorry, fans, that I just, I, I just don't know the names, and I wish I knew all the lines like you all know. I mean, you all go back and forth and back and forth, you know every line. Now, your, your mother um, was on set of, she told me, Africa Screams when she was on with Abbott and Costello's movie. And, and choo -choo, Cuckoo, Cuckoo, Cuckoo on a Choo Choo. Yes, that's and the that's name of the picture. picture. Yeah, so if you go to Shempower Girls Group on... Although Goyles. It's, it's Goyles. 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 Yeah. It's everywhere. The Shemp Howard everywhere. Goyles. You see her um, with Mo Larry and Shemp on the set. The highlight of her life and going to the commissary was oh, so exciting <laughs> to see all the actors and actresses. And uh, they were at the wedding. I saw some wedding pictures. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she knew Curly, but very briefly. Mm -hmm. Didn't have much knowledge about Curly. At the time. Yeah. yeah. But she was friends with your grandmother. Very Elaine. close, Elaine. And I was. Wait, close oh, wait, with was Elaine. she or was her mother close with Elaine? Gra my grandmother, Babe, was, was very close to Elaine, and I spent a lot of time over at. Babe's house, house, and Elaine always used to come over, and she wore the cutest little short shorts, and she was tan, and I, I don't know what it was about sitting on the, her lap. I, <laughs> she was adorable, and I always would go and sit on her lap. I don't know what was going on with the lap sitting, but. Uh, so you and you knew your grandmother. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. She was wonderful. So wonderful. It's, it's just it's how you guys didn't even know. No. That you were yeah. Yeah. No. There again. Something. I don't know. Hmm. Somebody says Shemp's kids sure had a new had sure knew how to throw throw snowballs. Yes, they would do home movies. I think you're talking about the home movies of Shemp and Joan. Mm -hmm. um, they would script it all out. Uh, it's too bad there was no sound at that time, but almost every home movie has, if that's what they're talking about, um, they would get the, Joan and my dad and, and more in these, in these, um, these home movies. real to real, yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah. Home movies. Now, one of my, <laughs> I'm so surprised. You told me this story that you had Shem's home movies and you loaned them to somebody and never I did. got them back. Unfortunately, that gentleman has passed away, but he produced Shemp Cocktail, and I had a very large 16 millimeter? Probably. Big one. Yeah. And I, I said, please, you know, we have to make sure that it gets from you to me, you know, very, you know, overnight. Unfortunately, I did not live where he was, so it did have to be shipped overnight. UPS or and it never came back. It never came back to me, and <laughs> I never got a really a response of what happened to it. So somewhere along the way, if anybody has Shep's home movies out there, who's got it? Who's got it? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I was so reluctant. Oh, I didn't want to give it to him, and it ended up Shep cocktail. I didn't really. Oh, no. So, um, I, I didn't love it, but, uh, and I can say that because there, it was such a big reel of, of important things that were on it, and only very, very little was used in the actual Shemp cocktail film. So what, do you have a prized possession from your grandfather? Am I wearing it? I'm not wearing it. I have, I didn't bring it. It's mm. a locket. It's a, it is a gold locket. Um, he wore it as a key, he had it as a key ring, and my, and his wife, Babe, had it made up for him, and it was like a little picture book, about this big, yeah, about one inch square, and it has his initials on the front, SH, and a little 14 karat gold locket, and you open it up, and they do not do this uh, type of media anymore, it, they burnt, Etched in. Etched. They burnt the photograph oh. into mm -hmm. the gold um, of my grandma, of babe, and of my father. And there's some inscription in there. You know, I love you, Jim. And so since I am SH, I got it. And I've had it for years and years. And I will keep continue to have it until I'm not here anymore. And you seem to have a, a, a lot of pride for the Stooge thing. You go to, you seem to... Engage I, online, you go to all the conventions. I try, you go to, to, I, I, I try to engage mostly online. I'm not a huge flyer. So, uh, but I always ask, you have any questions? If I, if I can answer it, I will. If I can't answer it, I'll ask somebody else in the family that can hopefully give you what you, the answer you're looking for. So, and then Chandler doesn't have any really prized possessions from her family legacy. <laughs> no, <laughs> she will. But you have some stuff that you don't know about. Absolutely. So Chandler, why don't you show? Let's so see. This is... <laughs> I've gotten some gifts. She's got some gifts yeah. from- Parting gifts? Uh, a fan, uh, can we name name him? Yeah. Robertino. Yeah. Robertino. Oh. Is... Robertino's the best. He's a huge supporter and he sends just these random stooge gifts that we all He's cherish. Awesome. 
She's awesome. We love her. Look them. at these. She's a big fan. And look. Wow. So there you go. So you didn't know she had these and you've never seen these. This is, these are very interesting, right? Wow. Like, this is shrimp. You never had a shrimp doll? There's not a lot of shrimp merchandise. Nope. This one's good. Nope. Oh yeah, here we go. From Bradley's Grooms. Look at that likeness. That's pretty good. <laughs> Looks just like That's you. Pretty, the wrinkles it does, and all. I have them. How do you not have one of these? You need uh, one of these. What do you do now? <laughs> <laughs> what, you should take a challenge? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Here's uh, Great Uncle Mo. I like and Great Uncle Curly. I like that. Oh, yeah. I love that costume, the, the clothing. Yeah, these are fun. How cute, like that. And you gave me this. I, and I, yeah, I gave you this. When we went to the Stooge convention, maybe? Or after? Mm, after. Was, she guilted me into getting it. I have a very it. small collection of things that I'm <laughs> Wait, where's your button? You have one button. That's really neat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I love that they had Shemp comics. That's so, oh, yeah. I've never seen it. You've never seen that? It? Nope, I have not. Is this an old book? I mean, it. No, nah, it's like a, a reproduction of. Uh, where can I buy these guys? It's a reproduction of old comics. So we don't know where to get them, but we do know that Kurt, uh, Larry's great grandson, runs Shop Knuckleheads, right? And lots of stuff. Yes, and he's got all kinds of. There we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Those so. are my five items that I own. <laughs> She's making me feel, give some guilt yeah. here. I got some empty walls, Mom. Well, you can contribute You can the discuss legacy. your walls. Uh, well, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so thank you so much. We, we won't take any more of your time. Um, it was fun. For Mother's Day, Brad and I, we're going to send you, we're going to uh, buy you a subscription to the Three Stooges Fan Club. Oh my gosh. And we're going to have, uh, here's one of uh, the newsletters, the magazines with Shemp on the cover. Mm -hmm. And you both are going to, Let me you both are going to have uh, your subscriptions to the Three Stooges Fan Club. Okay, can I make that face? Yeah, see if you can do it. Well, that's it. That's it. Not even in character. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey. You have, it. you have his eyes. Not blue. Were they his eyes blue? Everybody had blue. Oh, even Larry. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Bet wonderful. you didn't know that. Maybe you did. Thank you so much, guys. Anyway, Thank sorry. Uh, the, the we couldn't read from the screen. Yeah, it's, we couldn't read from the screen. There was trouble with the... The producer or the, the, messages. the grip guy? It could be you two, but don't, don't always blame me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks for coming by. See you, Yay. Yeah, And more to good. come, right? More to come. More to come. More, more to come. come. Oh, Chandler, you want to tell them about your social yeah. media stuff? Come on. <laughs> She's a huge TikToker. Follow me on TikTok at Chandler Isaac. And? Instagram <laughs> at Chandler Isaac. <laughs> and it's Jim, Jim Howard Goyles on yeah. Facebook. Thank you. Say Love goodbye. you guys. Come see us. Goodbye.